That wasn't very good. Okay, let's do another one. It doesn't, we need like straight. Oh, look what I found. Oh, look at that. You should have it. Because guess what we're going to do? What? We're going to do part two. Hello, this is part two of a ten part series, Drunk Fallacies, where my wife and I attempt to explain logical fallacies while drunk. We filmed all ten episodes in one night, so each episode we get a little more drunk than the last. We use really strong language in this one, so if you're not adult enough to handle adult language, go watch something else. Welcome to Mr. Noon's Neighborhood again. This is the second uh, episode on our series of installments of things where we're drunk. <laughs> Which we clearly already are. We recorded all the episodes you at the same time. We already are. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so drunk oh, fallacies, where we talk about some really simple logical fallacies and explain them drunk. Today is number two personal incredulity. Good job. You said it. You said it. We're still going. Um, so, like, our next one today, number two, is personal incredulity. My line of I'm work. buzzed enough that I don't know if that is even if I'm saying that properly. Incredulity. Incredulity. Um, look at look at your voice. Look at my dude, voice. Dude, I don't know what to tell you. I just talk like a normal. Talk person. into this. This is normal talking. I'm gonna angle like the to microphone project. toward it's you. Not me. It's not me. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Just talk like normal. Just talk like normal. And I think that my voice is more like I've been sick, and so it's, this is just how my voice is. It's more like evanescence? No, it's more like normal. <laughs> okay, personal incredulity. Incredulity. <laughs> because something is difficult to understand, it's therefore not true. <laughs> so that's that's this fallacy. Because something is difficult to understand, it's therefore not true. Right? Okay, the best examples for these ones are uh, creationists in arguments for evolution. Kirk Cameron once said, oh. Okay, <laughs> 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 before you pee, take a shot and let's finish this one. We're gonna do this one while she needs to pee. Um, take a shot. This is an easy one today. Today we have an easy fallacy. Personal incredulity. The, the the name is stupid, but it means, like I said, something that's difficult to under because something's difficult to understand. Therefore, it's not true. Good job. If humans evolved from apes, why are there still hum? You're jumping ahead. Why are they <laughs> are still humans? Okay, ignore my typos. I read that job. really fast. Take your goddamn shot. Oh, Let's so do this episode, shot. and we and then you can pee. I'm gonna pee right now. Take your shot, you can pee, and we'll be right back. <laughs> My tummy, I'm not, I don't know, feels so bad. Take your shot so you can pee. You can't pee until you take a shot. Much great pressure. Do it or you're a loser. Gong! My nuts! <laughs> I told you, don't say stuff like that. Like nuts? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't say ding along ding dong. Dang it's ding along ding dong. And I didn't say anything about kids. <laughs> take a shot so you can take a whiz. <laughs> oh, my God, pee first. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can pee. Go. Count me down. Five, four, it's just three, that I already told you guys gonna throw up on the last one. I thought I was counting you down. Are you gonna feel bad if I'm in there throwing up after this? Yeah. Yeah, right. I will feel bad. I don't oh, want you to. I'm actually not taking another shot yet. I need to like. Okay, well let's let's go on with this episode then. Shots. Okay. Can I go pee first? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go pee. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That popper. <laughs> We're back um, from her urination. So personal incredulity, eventually we'll get to what this is. Uh, because something is difficult to understand doesn't make it true. We already said that. Hey, so this is a good time to interrupt and give a sober definition of the personal incredulity fallacy. Other terms for this fallacy are the divine fallacy and argument from incredulity. 
basically, today's fallacy is committed when someone claims something is not true because they don't understand it, or it's so unimaginable or fantastic to them that it must be false. It's usually alongside a supernatural claim, or with the claim of an advanced species like gods or aliens or even ghosts, because they can't comprehend it being done in a natural way. For example, I can't believe humans could have built the pyramids back then, so aliens must have helped. So, in other words, I can't imagine blank must be true, therefore it must be false. Or you could reverse it, I can't imagine how, uh, or don't understand how blank could be false, therefore it must be true. I.e., I can't imagine how the pyramids would be built without alien help or technology, therefore aliens helped build the pyramids. So, let's get back to the drunks. Okay, so Kirk Cameron, as I was saying, said, If evolution is true, then show me the crocoduck. That really happened. I'm, this isn't a joke. There's even crocodile ties, and these are actually made by people making fun of Kirk Cameron. This is years ago. But, um, so he doesn't understand evolution clearly and how it works, but you know what, Kirk Cameron? The platypus. There's your crocodile. Suck a dick. I can't oh. even say, like, dick. Why do you say all those things? Like, penises make good jokes. <laughs> Oh, Me like penis the jokes. <laughs> like, when in doubt, say jizz. <laughs> Says the girl who's not gonna say jizz today. <laughs> I asked you. Okay, not so to like, say it. like, like you were saying this one that you read ahead of time. If humans evolved from apes. Why are there still humans? <laughs> okay, if you understand evolution, this is just absolutely fucking ridiculous, okay? And, and that proves the point, personal incredulity. If something is complicated to understand or you don't understand it, it means I don't think it's true because I don't understand how evolution works. Okay, for another example, how can something as complex as an eye evolve? It must have had a designer. Just because you don't understand how the eye evolved evolutionarily doesn't mean there's a designer. It just means you don't understand how it evolved. You, you have fucking Google. Just look this shit up. But, yeah, because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's not true. That's, that's today's topic, personal incredulity. Rejected. Incredulity? Oh, you're looking up incredulity? It's pronunciation. Incredulity. I'm saying it correctly. We don't need to How waste do time know? on the. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, All right, here we How go. do you know? Incredulity. Incredulity. All right. Incredulity. 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 Personal incredulity fallacy. Because you don't understand something doesn't make it true, Look so don't dismiss something before you understand is. it. What's the next one? Epitropium. 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 Oh. Okay, thanks for watching. Epitropium. <laughs> thanks for watching. I use that. I word hope again. this was somewhat clear. Be a neighbor. Mr. Newton's neighborhood was made possible by viewers like you. And subscribe. So next week is part two of debunking conspiracy theories. And I've got to say, the two-part debunking conspiracy theories show is hands down my favorite show we've done so far. And in two weeks, we'll be back with another drunk fallacies.